Hey guys, Nikki here. Got plant mail today. I'm pretty excited. Do you want to open it with me? Let's open it. Let's open it. This has been in the mail since like last, I don't even know when, Thursday, Wednesday. So I'm a little scared of what we're going to find in here. So I think we should just, just pull the bandaid off or tape. So we're, check it out. All right, let's do it. Okay, so before we open this, I do want to mention something. I did get this off Etsy. Um, I will put the Etsy shop, the name of the Etsy shop, in the description of this video. Um, she did contact me, however, before she sent the package and uh, let me know that one of the plants um, didn't look like it did in the picture, uh, that a couple of the leaves had fallen off. But she said the plant she thinks is still good. So she actually refunded me fully for the price of the plant, uh, as well as the shipping that that plant would have been on its own. Uh, so I thought that was really, really nice. She didn't have to do that. Uh, she could have just taken it off and not sent the plant to me, but she did. She credited it and she gave me the plant anyways. Uh, so I thought that was pretty cool. Okay, so I'm going to open this. I think there's four plants in here from what I remember oh boy it's a lot of tape oh boy I'm so worried that these aren't going to be um, alive <laughs> Oh, and I will apologize for how I look right now. Um, I just got home from work. It's been hot. It is like, I don't even know what it is here right now. It's like 30 or something plus the humidity. So when I got home, the humidity in the house was 81. Like, I'm sure my plants are absolutely loving it. Not so uh, great for people. My dog probably hates me right now. Okay. Oh. All right, so here's what we've got so far. A whole bunch of newspapers. Uh, these came to me from BC, I think. All right. This is the best part until afterwards when I have to clean it all. It's like Christmas and everything just gets thrown everywhere. Okay. We're going, we're getting there. All right, there they are. They look pretty good, well wrapped. Let's start on this one. Okay, I think I'm just gonna set the box on the floor. All righty. I'm trying to remember what I even ordered and to be honest with you, I'm not entirely sure. I know that I believe two of them are begonias, which actually will be my first begonias because I don't have any, as you probably know from watching my video. Um, it's a lot of tape. awkward part of doing this. Oh. So here's the other thing with this. I'm pretty sure that the name of these begonias, from what I remember, are, weren't actually on the listing. So if you know what variety these are or what type these are, can you throw it down in the description there? Well, there is the name of the store. Can you see that? Probably not, because I really am horrible at this focusy thing. Will it focus? No. Okay, it's made by Lin Lin. She does jewelry, accessories, and plants. Uh, her reviews are amazing, by the way. But we'll see. See about that. 
Holy. They were not coming out of here. <laughs> Ever. Ever. Oh, and you're going to have to stay till the end because I got to plant on the weekend. Yes, I got a plant on the weekend. It is a plant from my wish list, and <laughs> I'm really excited about it. Probably more than I should be, um, but yeah. So I want to show you that plant, but you have to wait until the end because I gotta open the, this box and get these poor plants out of here first. Okay, here's the first one that's still stuck. Oh, it's really pretty. <gasps> oh wow. Oh wow. Oh wow. Tape. There we go. Uh, look at that. That's actually really nice. I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but it's this beautiful dark red. It's in pretty good shape. Not too shabby. All right. So that's the first one. I will set that here. I will try to open this one a little faster. <laughs> Sorry, this is like the worst part, is like waiting to hack through all of this tape and newspaper. But it's not gonna be a very fun unboxing if I totally destroy the plant in the process of opening it, so we just have to deal. Oh, right. <laughs> I know someone who's going to be like, oh my gosh, <laughs> you know who you are. Oh boy. Like she really makes sure that they're not coming out. I don't want to turn it that way just yet. So this one looked a lot more pinkish in the picture, I think. Oh, I'm going to destroy everything. So, You know, I complain that these are hard to open and it's a pain, but like I appreciate the fact that she went to that much work to get them in there. Look at that. Ah, uh, isn't it nice? Now, here's the thing. I don't know a ton about Hoya. The one that you saw in my, um, my plant tour video, and I'll insert a picture of it, probably over here. Um, was supposed to, I believe was just supposed to be like a regular Hoya Carnosa. I don't really know much about them. Okay. Somebody can tell me anyways. So I believe when I ordered this one, I ordered, ordered it. I ordered it as a, uh, Crimson Princess. Although I, f I think that in the picture, the leaves, it had a couple leaves that were like pinky, but I don't know. I don't see... In any case, it's nice. So that is my third Hoya. But I have a friend who I'll tell you about later when I tell you about my new plant, who I know will be able to tell me what this is. If you guys don't beat her to it first in the comments. Ugh. Okay, next one. So speaking of comments, I absolutely love chatting with you guys in the comments. Um, I chat with a lot of people on Instagram and I have a blast doing that. So by all means, throw something down there. Let's start a conversation. Let's talk about plants or whatever. I don't tell me about your plants. What kind of plant people are you? Cause like, I know everybody like has their favorite type of plants. Like some people like Hoya. Some people like Monsteras. 
There's philodendron people. I'm a bit of a philodendron person. I really like philodendrons. Um, <laughs> this is the one. <laughs> oh my gosh, wait till you see it. <laughs> Ah, hold on. Oh, oh, this poor sad thing. I can't stop laughing. This is my... Wait until you see it. Oh. So funny story. I don't know if any of you guys watch um, Foliage Lover, uh, Jolene. So she got, so this is an actual, this is supposed to be an angel wing begonia. And the picture looked beautiful. It had all its leaves. It was gorgeous. Now, same thing happened with Jolene. She ordered this angel wing begonia. Um, when she opened it, it, it was a little sad. Now hers was sad looking, but I think it at least had three or four leaves on it. Look at that. I can't. Uh. Can you see this? Oh my. Look. Aw. But it's still good. It's got some new little buds coming in. Aw. I can save this. <laughs> Aw, look guys. It's got one little leaf left. And if you count these, I don't know. But it looks healthy. It's got like new growth coming in. I can save this thing. Speaking of saving things, <laughs> I went to, um, where did I go yesterday? Rona? Because <laughs> little birdie told me that the Rona in their area had um, uh, Cebu Blue. And you can't find them up here. Like, if you guys can shoot me a cutting, <laughs> I would be eternally grateful. Because they're just, I, I can't find them anywhere. They're just not up here. So she said that she had heard that they had them at the Rona up where she lives. Which is about half an hour drive from me. But I guess she had gone and they didn't have any. So I don't know whether somebody lied to her. Or whether they just ran out because they just don't have them. Um, hang on, I'm going to open this last one while I yammer. Totally don't know what this is. Oh boy trying to remember um anyway so i pulled into this rona and it's like it's the tiniest little rona store i go inside trying to find the way to get through to the garden center nowhere to be seen turns out there's a little garden center like outside you have to like go outside and then walk all the way back inside to pay well all of their house plants apparently were brutally murdered when the lady who normally does um, the plant section oh I remember what this is okay I'll finish my story first <laughs> I'm just gonna keep you in suspense a little longer anyways so she hadn't gone on vacation for a week and whoever was taking over for her I guess wasn't a plant person didn't care or whatever so she had moved all of the indoor plants uh, into the over like the covered portion of the garden center so they wouldn't get burnt and whatever Gave strict instructions make sure you water them blah blah blah. She comes back from her vacation Somebody had put them back out full sun all day all of them burnt to a crisp <laughs> She said she felt so horrible. She almost cried Anyway, so they had like five house plants in tiny little like four inch pots so I picked up this little uh, satin pothos. I got to show you because, well, I'll insert the picture of what it looked like when I picked it up yesterday. So here is the picture. I know it's sad. Hold on. Oh boy. Here's what it looks like today. It's better, right? It's not bad. I can fix it. It's still really healthy. It's actually like snapped back. I saved it. I'm a plant hero. Okay, anyway, back to the plant. You're like, shut up, Nikki. Just open the package. All right. It's possible I just cut a leaf. I didn't realize it was that tall. 
Maybe not. Oh boy. Oh boy, there's dirt. Oh, it's dry. All right. Uh. I'm really not trying to drag this out, I swear. Uh. Oh, it's so pretty. the vacuum like I got back to dirt all over my carpet oh okay it is a caladium I'm gonna have to look up what kind it is because I don't think it was on the site but look isn't that gorgeous that's really nice and it's got some new guys growing in oh <laughs> hi there Okay, <clears throat> so those are the plants that I got today. Poor little sad angel wing begonia. Hoya, Paula, I'm shouting you out, girl. Tell me what this is, please. This other begonia, if you guys know what it is, let me know. It's really pretty. And satin pothos, that's not what I opened today. I just thought I'd show you again. Okay, so mini story time because you know I haven't story timed enough today so I don't know if they've got it in the states I know that I reference this Virage sale a lot so it's like Kijiji and you guys probably already know what this is you're like Nikki you don't need to explain it well I'm gonna because I don't know if you guys know so anyway it's like Kijiji um, only it's a lot better um, anyways so I saw this lady who was selling um, a couple of Calathea plants. They were really pretty. I think that's the first thing I bought from her. And I feel like there might have been something else. Anyway, it doesn't even matter. Um, so anyways, I, it was, yeah. Okay. Sorry. Let's go forward. Um, so I sent, uh, Jordan to pick up the plants from her. Um, we kind of just got like chatting and she tells me that she is going to this particular nursery um, where you have to book an appointment, which I had never heard before, because she says, oh, like, well, my appointment times, whenever it was, and I was like, like, how high end does this nursery have to be where you have to book an appointment? So she sends me a picture. Here's what I saw last time. People, let me tell you. She sent me a picture of a Thai constellation. I almost died. So anyway, I was like, you got to tell me what they got there. Blah, blah, blah. So anyway, to make a long story short, she gets there, sends me a picture of some plants that she's looking at and stuff like that. I saw one in particular and I said, I will email you the money. Please get me that plant. It is on my wish list. I don't care how much it costs. That's not necessarily true, but I'll tell you, like I... For me, I feel like it was worth the money. Okay. Ready to see what I got? <gasps> Look. Oh my gosh. So this has been at the top of my wish list for a while. So this is a Monstera Thai Constellation. Um, it's also got a new little leaf here. Oh, <laughs> I just knocked one, one of the leaves off the begonia. Now it has less. Um, anyways, so I, w I couldn't, I, I, I couldn't even tell you how excited I was. Jordan swung by on his way home, picked this up um, from Paula. Paula's her name. Lovely. Um, we have become amazing plant friends. And uh, it all started with a couple of Calathea and a Thai constellation. So, anyways, thank you, Paula. Mwah! Thank you for my wish list plant. Um, yes, you are my plant fairy godmother. <clears throat> anyways, guys, I'll wrap this up. This is what I wanted to show you. I finally got these plants out of their boxes. Um, 
So if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do that. I would really appreciate it. Um, I love doing these these kinds of things, and I just want to share all this stuff. So, um, you know, my family's sick of listening to me, so somebody's somebody's got to listen to me. All right. Well, throw a comment down below. My son. <laughs> Anyways, throw a comment down below. Let's get a chat going on. Let me know what uh, plants you guys have, what experiences you've had with unboxing plants, if they've been great, if they've been not so great, and uh, if you've gotten anything that looks like this. All right, guys. Have a good night. Mwah!